finance. I'll up. What is an agency relationship? All right, well, this one could have come straight out of Hollywood because in finance land, no relation to Disneyland, the same kind of client agent thing exists, albeit with a lot less than 10% per transaction commissions uh, that's usually standard in uh, ye old Hollywood. Well, you are Granny Gold Digger. Your 97 year old husband just died, leaving you at 43 a wealthy woman. You meet with your stockbroker, now turned private wealth manager, Handsome E. McHandsome, and assess the uh, relationship here. Well, Handsome E. has a fiduciary obligation to you to act on your best behalf. He is effectively an extension of you. He is your agent in the same way your right hand is your agent when your back itches. He must be open about his fee structure like a common agency arrangement these days has the client paying 1% of the assets under management with the agent, whether the agent does a ton of work for the client, like tons of trading, or whether he does a whole lot of nothing. Well, the dicey conversations here then revolve around whether that agent encouraged his client to put money in the very high fee hedge and private equity funds run by the agent's firm. And then, uh, well, you know, you could ask, does the agent then get a spiff or tip or free trip for him and his family to Hawaii at the end of the year? Hmm, does that happen? Could that happen? Agency relationship, hmm? All right, well, the basic idea here is that an agent must act in the best interests of the client no matter what. Even if the advice the agent is giving the client is directly opposite the best personal interests of that agent, like uh, getting a lot of commission in that free trip to Hawaii. And yeah, that is the only relationship uh, you want to have with an agent. <laughs> Sorry there.